Hey everybody, I'm Mike from Regala Photography, where we talk about everything photography. Uh, today we are going to talk about not over editing your photos. And I'm going to show you some examples, specifically uh, uh, landscapes and specifically even more uh, your skies. Okay. And I'm going to show you some examples of what not to do. And then we're going to edit a video um, with showing you how to do it properly, okay? Um, all right, uh, before we get started, some housekeeping stuff. First off, I apologize for not posting any videos in quite a while. I uh, had a lot of stuff going on. Um, I have some back issues and stuff. So, um, you know, I, again, I apologize. Uh, hopefully, I will be back on track and ready to do weekly uh, videos after, uh, starting with this one right here, okay? All right, now, one thing that I've noticed is that I've been seeing a lot of photographers lately and, and even professional photographers, people who I know are supposed to be professionals and they're posting photos with pure black in the sky, pure black. Now, I don't know about you, um, but when I look up in the sky, even during a storm, I, I don't see pure black. Yes, the skies can get dark, okay? But actual black where the sky itself, like if I, when I turn on my monitor, my histogram monitors, that it actually alerts me that there's no data in there that it's so black that there's no data, okay? So uh, I don't understand this. I know we have one local photographer in particular who's been doing it a lot lately, <clears throat> and he's always done that. And I know a lot, a lot of times when you do an HDR, um, sometimes it's possible to, to get that. And you, I mean, you gotta learn how to restrain yourself, folks. I mean, I know art is subjective and maybe something that I don't like you know, other people do like, and hey, that's that's great. But if you're a photographer, not just a digital artist, but a photographer, your photos should at least still resemble something lifelike. Okay, and again, that's my opinion. Um, you know, if you want to do digital photography and take it to the next level and make it look you know, you know, like like another world or whatever. Hey, that that's great. That's it's still art, and it, it's just it's not photography. Okay, so like here's an example right here. Um, and again, I'm not. I didn't post the whole photo. I only took the sky from the photo because, you know, this is not my photo. So, um, but you can see the black. Like like I've never in my life seen a sky look like this. And the other issue is people just just cranking up the clarity and the texture to make this look, it's not even clouds anymore. It almost looks like sand or dirt or something like that. And again, if you're doing digital photography or digital art and not, and not photography, hey, great. I mean, this would be perfect. It looks like a very, you know, uh, 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 alien sky and stuff like that. That's perfect for, for that. But um for, for, for a, a, a photo, something that came out of your camera and you're trying to represent what you actually saw, I seriously doubt that the photographer saw this, okay? Because um, this, this is not natural. This is not natural at all, okay? Now, right here, here's a photo that I took uh, the other day. I took it actually last week, Friday. And this is the raw file. And I made a copy of it. And you can see... This is dark, even for a raw file that this is dark, okay? Um, but we are going to fix that to make it look more natural. And we're going to kind of go towards something more like this, where the skies are dark. It looks like a storm is coming, which it kind of was. It kind of, it kind of passed us that day. But um, it's not pure black. It's not pure black at all, okay? So... Um, matter of fact, if you go over here, you can see I got my monitors on. 
the only pure black you see right now where this blue is is in my camera hood right here and a little bit in my the shadows of my shirt there's not pure black over here at all if we go back to this other photo over here um well he doesn't have pure black but he's darn close okay now i took my photo and i edited it to an extreme level to this okay and i still don't have pure black in the sky but it's pretty darn close again the only real pure black is on my shirt in the shadows and then over here in the tree okay now again i would never publish or edit a photo to look like this now i'm not gonna lie when i first started out um i did i i would create photos that look like this i did a lot of hdr um and i would do it and, I, and you know what i thought it was cool but as any artist or any professional you you evolve and you grow and you start to realize that you know what this is great for what it is but it's not a photo that i want to represent me okay so um again that's just i would never do that for myself okay so let's go back over here here's the raw file all right now let's go over here into the develop First things first, I need to clean this up a little bit. Um, let me get these branches out of here, right there. And this one over here, this one, and this one. Let me just do another little pass right there. Boom, okay. Now we got that out of the way. Now, normally when I'm editing a photo, I started using linear profiles. And what I would do is I would click the linear profile that I have for my Canon R5. And again, I'm not going to go into what linear profiles are, but they're, they're profiles that are made specifically for your camera. And what I would do is I would click on it and you can see it kind of evens up a lot of stuff. And then you would click auto and it would get you to a starting point. Okay. And then I would start tweaking. I would get my blacks normal. I would increase my, you know, my exposure, blah, 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 blah. Okay, um, but I uh, for this video I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna work on this straight from scratch. Okay, so let me reset that, and then let me, I got to go through and do this again real quick. So boom, 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 and oops, and boom. There we go. Got it all. Perfect. All right. So first things first, obviously we look at the photo, very underexposed, okay? Um, I was actually using a flash and I was trying to get my settings correct with, for the flash. Um, the background, I knew I was a little dark and stuff like that. So hang on, let me uh, straighten up my horizon here a little bit, just a tad. Okay. So again, I was doing self-portraits and uh, so again, I didn't have my lighting set, but that's, that's perfect for this photo. So what I'm gonna do first, I am going to take my exposure and I'm gonna brighten it up a bit. Okay, I don't wanna go too much yet, but I'm gonna get it there. I'm gonna take my highlights, bring them down a little bit for now. I'm gonna probably come back to that. Shadows, we're gonna bring them up, okay? And if you watched one of my last videos, actually, um, actually, let me uh, reset this here and okay if you remember i did my um video on the histogram so what i could do is i can come over here to the blacks and i can move them over more to the to more mid range and i can go over here and move my darks move that over now you can see my histogram is getting much much better okay now i want to take my lights and i want to brighten them up a little bit and then I want to take my highlights and brighten them up a little bit. Okay. And again, you can see I've moved my sliders to where I want. Now, I really don't want to move the blacks all the way there like that. And what I would rather do is take the shadows and move them up a little bit. Okay. And then now what I can do, instead of taking my exposure and going crazy with it, I can just slightly take my exposure and I can take my highlights and bring them down. And now you can see I still have a stormy sky. Like I'm not even done with this photo yet. And the sky is already better. I mean, look, here's before and here's after. 
looks much more natural. Even my face where I had the flash, and again, the flash was not set properly. Everything looks so much more natural, okay? Now, here's where a lot of people make mistakes, okay? And, and again, it's subjective, but clarity. What I do is for global adjustments, I take a little bit of clarity and I boost it up a little bit. And I take a little bit of texture and I boost it up a little bit. So we're probably about a plus 11 on each. And that's just for this photo, okay? Um, I'm not gonna use any dehaze with this one. There's already a lot of contrast in here. I'm not gonna use dehaze. Also, if you noticed, I didn't use any contrast over here yet. I may come back and lower the contrast later, um, but let me just increase the vibrance a little bit. Okay, I'm not really worried too much about color for this uh, um, this video, okay? Now, let's go into the sky. So actually, well, normally what I would do is I would do my sharpening. Again, this is all my, my global, um, let me hold down. If you don't know this trick, you hold down the option key on a Mac, click masking, and now you're telling Lightroom where you want to sharpen. Okay, so it doesn't just sharpen the whole photo. All right, so if you look here again, let me push this down. If I'm over here, everything in the photo is being sharpened. But now I'm only going to sharpen what I feel is the important parts to be sharpened. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my mask, click on the sky. Okay. And you can see that, a light, again, the new Lightroom masking is fantastic. It does really, really good jobs, okay? So now, what do I want to do with this, okay? Let me see. So if I'm going to lighten it up just a tad, okay? So like maybe almost not even a half a stop or a quarter of a stop, okay? I'm going to bring the highlights down again. And again, that's also going to bring the darker part of the clouds down, all right? Whites, let me see, do I want to go up? No, no, I don't think I want to go. I want to go down. I'm going to go down a little bit, actually. Okay. Um, and then the blacks. Now, see, if you can, if I bring the blacks down, look at, I mean, that just, that doesn't look natural. It doesn't fit the photo. Now, if I'm going for unnatural, hey, great, no, pro no problem. But what I would do is probably go more positive, or I guess in this case, be negative blacks, meaning less blacks to brighten it up just a tad a little bit, okay? And then I would maybe increase the blue just a little, little bit in the, in the temperature. And then maybe I would also lower, mm, maybe just a little bit with the saturation. Now here's a little trick that I've learned. And this, this is just through trial and error. I take the clarity and because I do want some definition, there's storm clouds, so I do want some definition. I'm gonna go up. A little bit with the clarity and you can see how it changes if i want negative clarity see i will blur everything i'm going to go up just a little bit so maybe we're going to go plus 10 but then i'm going to take the texture and i'm going to bring that down okay and now see how it softens see it softens that right up so if you see if you go before if you go like this see this that other photo i showed you that sky that's what whoever the the editor of that photo the photo the photographer did went too high you could see up in here okay it's all crunchy looking. You don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it down and we still got the definition and we still see because of the, the clarity that I added. Okay. But it's not crunchy. It's not like, you know, sharp edges and stuff like that. And, you know, pretty much your sky is done. It looks like a storm, a storm sky. Okay. So let me see. Let me get out of that mask and then... We, let's see, how do I, let's see, is it, uh, I always forget how to do this here. Nope. Uh-oh. What did I do? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Um, I always forget, but we, uh, uh, where are we? Okay, here we go. So here we go with the before and after. Before and after. Okay. And again, I didn't even touch down here all i did was global adjustments down here okay just to get me to a good starting point but the sky this already looks much better now again i would definitely do a lot more with this um i probably would do create a mask and you can do select people but i think for, for, for me right now i think i'm just going to do select subject um, normally i probably would do select people and then i would brighten it up a little bit bring the highlights down a little bit uh shadows bring them up a little bit whites we're going to bring them up 
take the highlights back down again. Okay. We're going to maybe lower that a little bit. I'm going to cool down, cool down the temperature a little bit right there. Okay. And then now here's another little trick. Normally when you're doing portraits, <clears throat> you would avoid this whole, the, the presence section. Okay. Unless you're going to use it for softening for skin smoothing. Okay. Especially when you're doing with women. When you when you're working with men, uh, especially like older men like myself, okay, I would wouldn't mind increasing the clarity a little bit, get some definition, and then also maybe a little bit of texture. And you can see if I go in a little bit here. Uh, there we go. You can see <clears throat> put a little bit more definition in there, okay. And again, just it's just more of a, 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 I guess for lack of a better term, a more manly look, an older gentleman, you know, um, just more definition in the chin. For myself, I would not smooth out my skin, okay? Um, but for, you know, if I'm working on a female model, you know, definitely you would go in and you would smooth the skin out. So, um, and again, I would also go into this tree here and I would work on that as well. Uh, maybe also I would take a radial filter right here and kind of go like this and go like that. Okay, well, we're going to bring that down as a tad, bring it down into here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to brighten this up a little bit. We are going to bring the highlights up, the whites up. And then we're going to bring the shadows down and then the blacks down. And then for me, I like this because you can see down here and in, into the dirt, there's a lot of, um, it looks kind of greenish yellow. So I'm going to take and I'm going to make a little more orangey out of that. And you see how it kind of tames that green there a little bit. And then I'm going to come into the clarity and you can see how clarity is. People think clarity is, is, is a sharpener and it, it is, but it's a trick. It's actually sharpening by putting contrast on the edges. So it's definitely a very interesting uh, slider. Now texture, that will take care of your detail. All right. Let me come back up here. I want a little less blacks there. Okay. And I kind of fixed that hill area right there. And then again, not to waste a lot of time in the video doing the whole picture, but basically when all is said and done, okay, I would take that photo right there that had that and then create that and then i would finish it up by right there okay and actually that's actually still a little bit too bright i probably would darken that up just a tad all right and then i would put a little more contrast in there with the blacks lower my shadows a little bit i don't know what happened with this one it doesn't look the same for some reason there we go like that okay and then another thing you can actually do, uh, instead of do, using vignette, what I would do is take a mask, okay? I would do a radial gradient, go over here, make sure I kind of get that in the center. Let's move this over just a little bit, move that over that way. And then make sure you click invert, okay? And now I'm going to Feather this up just a little bit. And then I'm going to take the exposure, lower that down like that. And see how it makes the subject pop like that. Okay. And then just to accent that, take that, take another radio, but this one I'm not going to invert. Okay. I'm going to open it up just a little bit right there. And I'm going to brighten this up just a little bit. Take the highlights down because we don't want to go too crazy with it. Um, maybe warm it up just a little bit. Okay. And there we go. Okay. You got your finished photo. Okay. And again, I must not have finished this particular photo before. But anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful. And... Um, you understand that over editing your photos, if you want to keep it as a photo and not digital art, 
you got to learn how to restrain yourself with the sliders. Okay. So, um, hopefully this helped you out a little bit. So anyway, thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, if you if got anything out of this video, please subscribe, uh, click that like button. It really does help ring that bell. So you'll be notified when the next video is posted. Uh, until next time, take care, everyone.